हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आय हॉस्पिटल सांगली इंडिया इन दिस व्हिडिओ आय एल बी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ पोस्ट कॅप्सुलर रॅप्चर विच ऑकर्ड ड्यू टू इरिगेशन ॲस्पिरेशन प्रोब अँड केस ऑफ इंटॅक्ट अँटी हायलॉइड दिस इज अ रुटीन कॅट्रॅक केस नो स्पेसिफिक हाय रिस्क फॉर डेव्हलपिंग अ पोस्ट कॅप्सुलर रॅप्चर हिअर and uh, the feco emulsification was carried out uneventfully so far it has been uneventful and now i started to polish the posterior capsule here and suddenly i realized that the posterior capsule was torn so let's have a look at it again in slow motion you can see the opening of the ia probe is on the side so it's facing towards the capsule and i am probably using higher vacuum than what is generally used for capsular polish so i was using the settings for cortex aspiration and didn't shift to polish mode here and the the posterior capsule was probably little bit more redundant in this particular case this happens if the anti hyaloid is slightly detached from the posterior capsule and if the redundancy of the posterior capsule is there and if you have kept the opening of the ia tip towards the posterior capsule or sideways it can catch hold of the capsule and uh, it may tear like that so this is what happened that the tip was towards the posterior capsule i used higher vacuum than what i commonly use for capsular polish and that led to this tear this is the very very important step and which we should practice even in routine cases just see how i have injected using the non dominant had 2% hpmc is injected irrigation is stopped and again the anterior chamber is kept filled even when we remove the ia probe same thing is shown here in the animation and also watch the visco movement carefully how it goes beyond the posterior capsule if it stays just beyond the posterior capsule you know that the anterior hyaloid is intact but if it goes into the vitreous cavity you can see it going into vitreous cavity sometimes and that indicates the anterior hyaloid may be ruptured so here you must have noticed that when the viscoelastic was injected or now is being injected it is not going freely into the vitreous cavity but it just stops beyond posterior capsule that indicates the anterior hyaloid is intact now in case of anterior hyaloid rupture like it is shown in this animation the vit visco is going to go down into the vitreous so this is the way you can assess the intactness of the anti hyaloid and now here i am injecting hyalocoat or viscoat to plug this posterior capsule rent and also i am placing it over the anti hyaloid so the anti hyaloid remains intact while i am doing the rest of the maneuvers this is very important because we don't want to rupture the anti hyaloid it will lead to vitreous prolapse so this is how i'll doing it so once the anti hyaloid has been made safe using the hyalocoat i am going to convert this posterior capsular tear into a posterior ccc by catching hold of the tear in the posterior capsule and just completing it similar to how we do it for the anterior ccc and it's quite simple most important thing you must make sure is that the anterior chamber should be always well formed when you are performing the posterior ccc and see here you can see a nice posterior capsular excess here there are no torn edges which makes the posterior capsule quite strong so it can now take care of the iol even when we place in the bag 
so while putting the IOL in the anterior chamber just watch how my non-dominant hand holding the Sinsky kept the IOL in the anterior chamber and didn't allow it to directly go into bag and now I am using the bimanual technique to push the haptic inside the bag so all these maneuvers are done taking care that I am not unduly stretching the posterior capsule though of course here I have already done posterior capsule rexis so my posterior capsule is quite strong so the same bimanual maneuver is repeated for the trailing haptic and now the IOL is nicely resting in the bag as you can see here and I prefer to do this passive visco wash rather than putting a irrigation aspiration probe inside because if you are using a high bottle height and higher irrigation pressure it may itself damage the antihyloid. This is the diluted triamcinolone which I injected to check for any residual vitreous which is not there in this case. So now the aisle is in the bag well settled. I am injecting little bit of pilocarpine to constrict the pupil to avoid any optic capture and that's the end of the surgery. Make sure after removal of the speculum also that there is no antechamber collapse because this is very important in case of posterior capsule rain particularly. We don't want AC collapse and the IOL movement. For more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel Saurabh Patwadan Feko Tips. Also, we have a nice interesting website fekotraining.org.in with lot of teaching videos. Thank you.